Over the years, I've mentioned a few times that I have a little collection of Native American jewelry. A lot of it is turquoise set in sterling silver, but there are other stones as well. And there are some pieces in that style that aren't necessarily Native American made. But every time I mention this, there are people who reach out in the comments and say they would love to see the whole collection. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. And stay tuned to the very end of the video where I show you what's in these two boxes, which are my newest additions to my Native American jewelry collection. I just picked these up in Santa Fe, New Mexico on our way from Texas to Oregon. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So at the time I'm filming this, we are a week out from leaving Houston and moving to Oregon. So of course, we are in the middle of packing and we are going 100 miles an hour trying to get everything done before the movers arrive in a few days. One of the things that I am ready to pack are my jewelry and my jewelry boxes. I will not be sending the jewelry in the boxes. The jewelry will all come in the car with us, but the boxes will have to be shipped. Let me show you before we get into the jewelry, my three jewelry boxes first. Several of you are already familiar with a couple of these. Here's the first one that I'm not sure that I've shown you before. Maybe I did during Vlogmas this past year. I'm gonna come closer. This, at least from the outside, is the most simple of all the jewelry boxes that I have. It just has the black leather with a little cushion to it and the single snap on the front. And when you open that up, there's no mirror, but it does have the brand name. This is Majuri, which is a jewelry brand. And the reason I got this is because of this section here. I needed a place to put my rings and stud earrings. The way this jewelry box is set up is it has three stacking trays. I'm not a big fan of stacking trays. I've had those before. I'd rather have drawers that pull out so I don't have to take these out and put them down. But here is the first tray. I'm gonna show you these just so you can get an idea of the layout. There's the second, and then there is the third tray with all the necklaces having fallen down since I'm tilting the box over. This top is padded. As far as I can tell, each of the trays seems to be made of wood. It doesn't say in the description online, and each drawer is lined in a micro suede that has anti-tarnishing properties. Let's see if I have any of my Native American or Native American style jewelry in here. Most of it's gonna be in the other boxes. The first are these hoop earrings. These are opal set in sterling silver. They have opals all the way around them and they're post earrings. And then these are some of my most worn earrings. These are solid sterling silver and they are sacred hearts. So they have the heart with the flames around it here and up here on the post. And this particular pair is stamped on the back. Some of my jewelry is stamped by the maker and some is not. This says Segura and then Sterling with a little design around it. I wanna to try to remember to tell you where I got each of these. The opal earrings are from a shop on the Strand in Galveston, Texas that sells Native American jewelry. It's called the Santa Fe Trail. And most of the jewelry that I have, I won't be able to link below for you. A lot of it is gonna be one of a kind pieces, but when I can link it, I will. The Sacred Heart earrings, which I love so much. They're some of my favorites in my whole collection. I got these on Etsy and they are from a shop that I believe is in Santa Fe in New Mexico. So I will link these below. And just quickly, before we look at the rest of the jewelry, my other two jewelry boxes, as many of you will be familiar are from Wolf. They're from the Caroline line. These are solid wood and they're quilted in leather. They're very heavy. <laughs> That's the large size. And then this one, which is going to take two arms for me to be able to pick up. Very heavy because it's huge. It is this. This is the extra large size. The Wolf Caroline jewelry boxes are very expensive. This one from Majuri is 150 which is expensive. The large size that I have is currently on the Wolf website for $600, and the extra large is on their website for 955. 
Now I didn't pay that much for them. I got them both on sale in the Nordstrom anniversary sale over the last few years. I bought the extra large first, loved it so much that I got the large the next year. I will have these linked below. They're usually on sale somewhere online. So I will find that and link them for you. And I'll just put up pictures of what the interiors look like. Each of these sizes comes with an extra little jewelry box. I'll just show you that real quick. On the large, it looks like this, and then the extra large has one very similar to it. But then the extra large also comes with this jewelry roll. It's a trifold jewelry keeper, which I've used many times on vacations. What I love about these is that when you open them up, you have a mirror that takes up the entire inside of the top and then you have the non-removable tray on top but then you open this which is magnetic and you have drawers that pull out and you can take each of those drawers out completely if you need to so i'm going to go through each jewelry box and pull out all the native american or native american style jewelry and show that to you and i have two shops that i have been able to visit multiple times to buy things that one in Galveston called Santa Fe Trail. And then there's also one in Wimberley that I can never remember the name of and I have a hard time finding it online. But they have a lot of beautiful jewelry. Let me show you a couple bracelets now. This opal bracelet is from the shop in Galveston and this is a mosaic. I don't know how well the details will show up but the opal is inlaid in a mosaic pattern in each of those rectangles. There's also this bracelet, same kind of thing. It's a mosaic in each of those rectangles but this one is all turquoise. And what's special about this is if you turn it over, it has these little emblems, animals and other things. So you get like two bracelets in one there. Very cool. This is not Native American made, but it's Native American inspired. I think the opal was the same thing. I think the shop owner said that those were made in India. These two rings are Native American. I don't remember the name of this stone, but it is set in sterling silver. And I went back to the shop and looked at this at least three times before I finally bought it. It was a little bit pricey. And this one is stamped. It's made by Robert Shakey and it says Sterling over here. I love that piece so much. I love what I'm really drawn to is a nice big stone with detailed silver work around it, like a lot of silver. I want to see the silver. Likewise, there's this piece, very chunky ring, and this isn't a stone, it's spiny oyster. Both of these rings, by the way, are from the shop in Wimberley, and I got all of these last time I was there. I have some earrings to match this that I'll show you in a minute. I've been into these deep purples lately so I thought I'd pick that up and give it a try and what I love about this one too is the detail work on the band there. This is a necklace it's a malachite set in sterling silver it's Native American made and it's from that shop in Wimberley and Paul got this for me for my birthday last year. I had been admiring it in the shop and while I was standing there he sneakily bought it behind my back. On the back it is stamped here it says sterling and the initials AL that's how it would look on my neck and it came with these matching earrings. They matched those pieces really well. And both of these are stamped on the back, Sterling AL. I also have this bracelet, which is from that same shop in Wimberley. Each of those little squares in the bracelet is a mosaic with four different stones. And let's see if I can remember what they all are. There's opal, black onyx, jasper and tiger's eye i believe and those are all set in bronze this is a pretty unique bracelet and i don't remember if it's native american made or not these are stud earrings this is tiger's eye turquoise and black onyx they're all set in silver and i got these in santa fe new mexico and they're just cheap little touristy pieces but i wanted to have some simple studs to match some of the other jewelry in my collection. I do have a pair of each of those three. This ring is Mother of Pearl set in sterling silver. This was a gift from someone and I'm not sure the origins of it. This is a turquoise ring set in sterling silver that I got many many years ago at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. This is a hinged tiger's eye bracelet and you can see the hinge on the back there where it opens up to fit over the wrist. I'm not sure what the metal is on this. It has a gold finish but that has worn off. This is a vintage piece that used to belong to my mother, as is this one. This is one of my favorite bracelets. It's a big chunk of turquoise set in silver. I'm not sure if the band is sterling silver though. It's another hinged bracelet. This piece is actually the piece that made me fall in love with turquoise and silver jewelry. And it's responsible for all of my other purchases. And this piece with the dangly bit of turquoise and silver was a gift to me from Paul's mother. It used to belong to her and she gave it to me. And it is stamped on the back. It looks like it says LG 
and then sterling underneath it. This big chunky necklaces has lots of different stones. I do not know what they all are. I know that these two are turquoise and these pearlescent ones are moonstone, but I'm not sure about this one or these. These look like they may be some kind of mother of pearl and I don't know about the faceted green ones. This is not Native American made. I was told by the person who sold this to me, who is a vendor that lives in Texas and shows at the art teachers conferences that I used to go to in Galveston. She said that these are made by students in India who are studying jewelry making and they are set in sterling silver. I got this necklace from her too. This is Jasper. And there's the back. Now I've been going through my jewelry boxes and I've come upon the very last tray. Let me just give you a peek of this. This is the mother load tray. I do have a few pieces like this. I'm sure this is not Native American made. These are pieces of turquoise, but I got it very cheap at a street fair when I used to live in New York City. This is another piece given to me by Paul's mother. These are turquoise beads and little natural pearl beads. This is another favorite piece of mine. This is not Native American, it's Mexican made. Each of these little hearts is a milagro. And I don't know if this is all sterling silver. I think some of it is, some of it may be other metals but I love this piece so much. And it looks great with those sacred heart earrings. I love this necklace too. My mother got this for me on a cruise somewhere south of Texas. So it's not Native American made, but I love this color of the turquoise. You know what? This is what I wear every time I pull out my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the turquoise V because this matches it perfectly. Beautiful. And it's set in sterling and it does have a little stamp right here, but I cannot tell what it says. It almost looks like it says Mexico but it didn't stamp all the way. And it has these matching earrings. These little earrings I got at the Cerrillos Turquoise Mine in Cerrillos, New Mexico. And these are Cerrillos Turquoise. And they're set in sterling silver. I need to polish a lot of my pieces. I got these three pieces from a different vendor at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. I found this pendant first and then I searched everywhere and finally found some earrings that match pretty well. The pendant is stamped on the back, but I can't read it. Something and then sterling underneath it. The earrings are also stamped. I think it says C. Harrell and then sterling. These are the spiny oyster earrings I mentioned earlier that would match that ring. These are stamped sterling. These are a mint colored turquoise that I got the same day at the rodeo that I got the pendant with the matching earrings. They're stamped sterling. These were also a gift from Paul's mother. They're little turquoise beads set in sterling and I love these pieces that move around. That's so pretty. I don't have anything else like that. And they're dangly. These have a really nice stamp on the back. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. It looks like it says Zuni which would be the tribe. And then I'm not sure what the design and the stamp means. These are some of my most prized pieces. They are gorgeous vintage white buffalo turquoise. And look at the intricate silver work there. It's so beautiful. I love these so much. You can see the yellowing in the turquoise. That's part of how you can tell that these are vintage turquoise. They have a nice stamp on the back as well, but I don't know what it means. The bottom says sterling, but I'm not sure about the design on the top. And these are one of my best buys ever. These are easily worth several hundred dollars, but somebody had them on Etsy and didn't know what they had, I guess. And they sold them for somewhere between 30 and $50. That's what I paid for these incredible. These malachite earrings set in silver. I picked up last year in Florida of all places. They are stamped on the back. It says 925, which means sterling silver, and it has the initials KZ. And then these earrings I picked up last year in California. These are also vintage pieces, and I love the silver work on these as well. I don't remember the name of the turquoise mine that these came from, but this particular color is a highly desirable kind of turquoise, and they were mislabeled and I got them a lot cheaper than they should have been. They're stamped on the back sterling and then there's a little design stamp on the top from the Native American maker. These two turquoise pendants I got a couple years ago in San Antonio at the Mercado there and they are set in sterling silver. I also got this piece there. There's the back of it. And then these two pendants I got on our trip to Maine. I'm not sure what this stone is, but this one is Moonstone, which is a Maine stone. So this piece came from Maine. It still has the sticker on it. It says Moonstone Mideast Maine, and it's stamped sterling on the top. And then these two pendants I purchased from Native American sellers in the square in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I got them both from the same maker. They're stamped on the back with their mark, and then they say sterling. And we leave, at the time I'm filming this, we leave a week from today 
day to go to Oregon and we are taking 10 days to take a nice slow long road trip to get up there and we're making quite a few stops along the way and I'm very very excited to say that one of the stops we'll be making is three nights in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Part of the reason for that is because we have friends there that we're able to stay with. But another reason that we're staying so long is I want to do some turquoise shopping. I don't know how much I'll actually buy because it tends to be pretty expensive in Santa Fe, but definitely going to be looking at the very least. And hopefully I will come out with something. And when I do, I'll share that with you. As promised, it is time to see what is in these two boxes, my newest additions to my collection. So let's first check out this one. All right, inside the small box, we have this ring. This is Royston turquoise and it's similar to that green stone that I showed you earlier which isn't turquoise that was also in a ring with all this detailed silver work around it. Let me turn it around so you can see it from the other side. It has a plain band on it. That band is set to be adjustable. That's pretty common for these rings. And right over here it is stamped sterling silver and it has the maker's mark. And then in this bigger box, we have this. Oh, this is what I was hoping to find when we went to Santa Fe. It was a gorgeous turquoise necklace and earring set. This is Sonoran gold turquoise and I just fell in love with it. Paul has a ring in Sonoran gold. I should show you that, but I think it's packed at the moment and I don't know where on earth to find it. But um, wow, this is a beautiful piece. These are also stamped on the back and I have something very special. I got these from a place called Wind River. It's a jewelry shop in Santa Fe. And they gave me something very cool that I have never been given before when I've purchased Native American jewelry. And that is this card about the artist. It turned out I picked two pieces made by the same person, Marianne Spencer, and it has her picture there and a bunch of information about her blank on the back. So I thought that was very cool. A little personal touch. So those are my two newest additions. Well, that is my Native American, Native American style jewelry collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Now I need to go wrap all this up and get it packed. Have a fantastic day. Bye.